Clem's gonna get to put her amazing cooking skills to use. So we're gonna get to do some cooking mama stuff. Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Wanna help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. Everyone underestimates me. I expect you've used that to your advantage. Sometimes. Smart girl. Hmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? Food. What is this? Le Walter Surprise. An autumnal legume salad with a peach roux. Bunch of Peaches beans. beans. Yeah. That's all we got. Huh. Striking resemblance. Why does everybody keep saying that? Anyway, I'll take it from here. Mm hmm. Look around the lodge. I will do that. <laughs> that was a good face. Crazy. Oh, can we put on some tunes? There you go. Cousin Jared's concert, October 13th, 1998. Uh-huh. Can we put on Cousin Jared's concert? Whatever. Eh, I can't click on it. Reminds me of school. Who's at the table? We burn down the Christmas tree. We got a lighter. I haven't seen one of these since. What's this song you're humming? Good King Wenceslas. It's my favorite Christmas song. What's it about? Clem, we We're gonna find help. out. Hey, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. So, how'd you meet Kenny? I found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. Hold up? You should have seen his beard then. <laughs> Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. Well, that sucks for you. Find a tree topper. Will do. Let's see what we got going on around here. Probably not going to be a tree topper over this way, is there? A fire? Wow, that is quite the fire. That's pretty sweet. Not exactly what I'm looking for. I probably have to go up those stairs, I imagine. Oh, 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 oh. What a funny little guy. He is kind of funny. I like him. That is one of the better Christmas decorations I think I've seen. Alright, let's head up. Good That's old... Crazy. can't be sure it's been a week man we gotta be out of the woods we can't be sure they might be tracking us tracking who do you think they are ninjas <laughs> Clem Luke said you saw some people in the valley people way down there how she's got binoculars genius <laughs> I saw lights which way did they go 
back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. We mostly talked about Kenny. Kenny is the loud man with the beard? Yeah, that's him. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna I don't want to be Luke. stuck between the two I of these don't groups. Feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You guys. She's it. totally right gonna have the baby. All right. What we what we got over here? Aha! Jump. Just jump and put that thing on there. Oh, you don't have to. That's nice, I guess. What? Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. What does Matthew look like? Oh, he's a handsome man. A little shorter than Walter. He should be back soon. It's not a very good description. Clem, I wanted to ask you. Does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before. And, well, I'm curious. He has good days and bad days like everyone else. He does seem different than I remember. In what way? I'm not sure. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, huh? I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Whoa. Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Why don't you go see if your friends are ready for dinner, Clementine? Why don't you do this, Clementine? Why don't you do that? So that girl's mad because I didn't find an angel. The star's better. It's the frigging star of Jesus or whatever. Alright, now, where am I supposed to go to do this? They were all upstairs. Am I supposed to go back upstairs? Is that what you want me to do? I wish Clem would kind of hurry a little bit more. They are taking longer than anyone has ever taken to decorate a tree. And yet, it doesn't ever seem to be more decorated. I guess this was where I was supposed to go. Cool. She's having troubles. Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? It's not going to be easy. I know it's going to be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. Wanna listen? You get to meet a bunch of new that people. Sounds good, huh? Can I? She's gonna be a runner. If he finds out it's not his, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. But I guess nothing's weird anymore. He won't kill you. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big He boy. might kill you. He's Just kind of a, food in you. a jerk face. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat.
Everybody's gonna eat at separate tables. You okay, man. Yeah, I'm just. I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. Oh man. They're gonna make me choose. I like Luke and I kind of want to reconnect with Kenny. Ugh. 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 Well, catch up with Kenny. Here you go, Clem. Sorry, Luke. So, Clem, we were just talking. What's the deal with the kid? And what's his name? Luke? He in charge? You trust him? Kenny, please. Sarita, we don't know these folks. I like him. He's a good guy. Would you trust him with your life? I already have. I think so. That guy, Big Al, he said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow and you can stay here. Oh, man. Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. She's staying for good. If that's what she wants. I can't leave my friends. What? Of course you can't. They can stay too. No. Honey. Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's... it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell ya. Ew. <laughs> Kenny. <laughs> so, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land. And cold ass winter, so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, vanilla ice. I don't know what your <laughs> deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying. Kenny, stop. But Luke is my friend. Gentlemen, please. There's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. It's funny, I'm worried about not pissing Kenny off now. Pass me that can, duck. Uh oh. <gasps> duck? Who's duck? Oh, don't, don't, don't. Leave him alone, Luke. Hey, Clementine, would you uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Somebody's gonna get killed while we're outside. Kenny is having some sort of flashbacks. This is not gonna be good. Gosh darn it, Kenny. I thought you were doing better. You looked like you were doing better. Duck wasn't that great anyway. He was really annoying. We're better off without him, Kenny. Uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher. And I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. So I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty and you grease the wheels. Everything will not be fine. <sighs> Do you really think everyone can just get along? They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. 
All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck, have you read him? Of course not. Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? <laughs>